Hey everybody, Dr. John Runyon here, and I figured I'd do a little public service announcement video to explain why traditional dental bridges are very bad. I had a patient come into my office today, and right here is his x-ray, and he had got a dental bridge placed by a different dentist about eight years ago. And he came in today with some discomfort, and we took a dental x-ray, and as you can see from this dental x-ray by this black stuff right here he has extensive decay or disease under the dental bridge so i wanted to make a little video telling you why traditional dental bridges are bad one of the main premise of a dental bridge which i don't really quite understand is that when a patient loses a tooth the dentist will go in and take the back tooth behind the missing tooth and the front tooth in front of the missing tooth and grind those teeth down and then cement three crowns together on top of those teeth. It seems like a good idea at first because you replace the missing teeth by anchoring to the two adjacent teeth and the patient can leave with the hole restored. But the problem is that you have now taken a scenario where you've had three anchors or three roots and now replaced it with a situation with just two anchors or two roots. So from an engineering perspective, this leaves that area very vulnerable to breakdown and long-term issues. So in my experience, those patients that do choose to get dental bridges only get a lifespan of five or eight or maybe 10 years out of that bridge and then they're back to the dentist with more problems, usually leading to them losing another tooth because the area has broken down. So in my professional opinion, the dental bridge is not a good solution when you're looking to replace a missing tooth. And this is something that I evaluate each individual patient specifically and give them the specific recommendation that can meet their needs the best. In a lot of those situations, the dental implant becomes the best choice for therapy because you can replace the missing tooth with its own anchor or its own root and give it the best chance for long-term success, not just for that tooth, but for the adjacent teeth and leave the patient in a much better health-wise and predictable situation for the rest of their life. So in this situation, now the patient not only has the original missing tooth, but they're gonna lose the back tooth as well. So now they went from a one tooth problem to now a two teeth problem. So financially, they went into a much deeper situation than what they originally had. So at the very beginning, we look at all options from a dental implant replacement to sometimes a removable tooth replacement that can fit the patient's needs. The dental bridge is a lot of times the medium cost solution, the dental implant being the higher cost solution, and the removable tooth option being the least expensive solution. But for each patient, we go through all treatment options and decide the best treatment choice for them at that current time. And in some situations, we can even leave the tooth blank for a while so that they can save up funds to afford the best treatment for them. And here at Runyon Dental Group, we take the time to review all options with the patient and present them with the best treatment possible. I hope anyone out there sees value in this video and that this is allows you to have more education for when these situations arise in your life. So if you like this video, please like and share. I'm Dr. John Runyon with Runyon Dental Group.